ya. It's yes from Margaret Scott. Boom, boom, bam, bam. I'm here to talk about the next job field, of course. And this one is called Architectural and Civil Engineers. <laughs> I know that sounds pretty extensive, you know, pretty wild, pretty weird. But honestly, it's a very respectful job. Um, for instance, architects are people who build stuff. They're pretty good at building stuff. That's their job, is to sit down with a piece of paper and a ruler and a pencil and just go for it. And you know what they're building? Buildings. They're also building monuments. Sometimes they're building art. But their job is super important because without buildings, we'd have nowhere to house all of our offices. What would we do, right? That's an architect's job. Fit all these people in this building. But also, some architects like to go that extra artistic mile and make it a monument. So not only does this building house all of these important people, it also speaks to the community as a piece that represents their own city. Wild, right? So architects have a pretty difficult job. But to put it even in simpler terms, if you're really good at Legos, you're probably a good architect. I know that's really strange to think about, but it's true. People who can build things, especially with their hands, are really good at building things in general. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, right? Because building in a way is a form of art. And that kind of ties into civil engineers. Now, civil engineers are the people that work under the architects in a way. So let's say an architect comes in and is hired to build this new building for this company, right? The architect drops down their plan, says, here it is, take it, blah, 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 blah. The company takes it, says, cool, now I'm gonna take this plan and give it to a manager who will manage my construction workers that they hire to build my building. Okay, those people are civil engineers, designers, kind of like a civil engineer, right? but designers of very particular things. In this case, we're talking about construction and that's kind of it. That's what they're known for. These civil engineers are also construction workers. They're also people who help work on our roads. They also work on our telephone poles and our electricity. But when I think about electricity, I'm not talking about just like lighting up one building or one place or one room. These people light up the entire town, right? It is the whole city. That's a civil engineer. Try to wrap your head around that. How many people are flushing the toilets? Civil engineers know that answer. Pretty wild, right? But it is a pretty high paying job, I must say. I mean, your hours are kind of crazy because in a way you're kind of on call, right? And construction workers can be gone forever, right? Sometimes these workers and engineers, they're not just building buildings, they're building ships, like big shipment ships that are made to carry like, thousands of those big metal crates. You know what I'm talking about? They're like huge and they fill it with stuff, products and whatever. Like a really good story is how there was a storm many, many a year ago that had one of those giant crates filled with rubber ducks and I think it was sneakers. And one day, in a storm out on sea, that crate fell into the ocean. And there was a weird amount of rubber ducks and sneakers in our ocean. But civil engineers, they built that ship. 
They also built that crate. So if it wasn't for good engineers, that ship might have crashed. And if that ship crashed, then all of the cargo would have been lost, right? That's where your architect comes in. A good architect would be able to see these problems and make it so it wouldn't have a problem. We're not going to talk about the big issues of Titanic, but an architect designed it, civil engineers built it, and then it was set out to sea, cracked in half. That's the end of the story. Like that was an architectural and a civil engineer coming together and building a thing. And not every ship is Titanic. And that is what we learned from that experience. <laughs> Woo! My activity for you this time is to design your own monument. What would it be? What would it be made out of? And why would you build it? All right. Um, that's all I got for this video. So if you have any questions or comments or you'd like me to cover something in particular, just drop it down in the question box on the page. Okay. Awesome. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.